Here it goes. I'll be testing Thomas Townsend Brown's theory that two charged plates can produce a force in the positive direction. To test this, I'll be using a high voltage DC power supply. It goes up to 40,000 volts, but we're going to stay under 20. And this is the charged plate. It's in a container to prevent ion airflow, so if there is a force that he, like Mr. Brown said it was, that was not um, produced by ions, and this would to de detect it. <coughs> he said that uh, it would work even in a vacuum, so putting a cage around it, airtight cage around it, would be basically the same. And this is a, a balance that I built some out of some wood. It's very, very sensitive. It's balanced on two razor blades. So, if this does produce any type of force, it should be able to, to de detect it. And to measure the force, I have this counterbalance, a jar with water, and a laser pointer set up. And this laser pointer is pointing over at that wall so that even an extremely small amount of movement will register. And you can see that it's sort of going up and down right now because of random air currents, I guess. But anyways, here it goes. This is my control. It's a little dead man switch connected to the uh, external control of the power supply. Well, when I press this, slowly cranks up. It should stop around 9k. Yep. Probably about 8k. Oh, shit. Post did not fell over. Alright. Let's hope that stays. Alright, let's try this again. Trick two. It's a little cranking up. But as you can see, the laser dot is in roughly the same spot as it was before. So it has not moved at all. So, what I'm going to do now. Oh, shit. Alright, except when we bump the scale, but so we gotta wait for it to cut too slow. And we're back. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do now is crank up the voltage. So, go up to four. I'm not sure what that'll do. Here it goes. Pressing the button. So right now the capacitor is starting to charge. It may just short out. Actually... Oh, shit. <laughs> so... The laser pointer did deflect up above the, n the normal right up until the uh, capacitor blew so I don't know, it's kind of registering a small force there but <sighs> experiment is done now I can't see any visual damage but I'm sure there's a short in there now so see you next time <laughs>